tractor here. So I thought I would just give you a little view of what goes on around here almost every weekend, especially uh, during the warm weather. And this has to do with a couple waterfalls that we have just up here in uh, Dundas. Now I'm on uh, Melville Street in Dundas and as you can see right now there's hardly any traffic. Well on the weekend that's going to change because I'm going to do a second part of this video on uh, on uh, probably Saturday or Sunday weather permitting to see exactly what goes on here. Now we have two waterfalls up here on the escarpment uh, Webster's Falls and Two's Falls and they're really really popular. In fact, so popular you can actually see that you have signs here saying no access to the falls or peak, no stopping, no parking, all that sort of stuff. It's because, oh, parking by permit now. So this is just because of all the traffic. And uh, it was kind of interesting. For years, it was a, sort of like a local attraction, like people who lived here or knew about it would come and see it, but really not too many people from outside of uh, the immediate area. Well, then what happened was the Conservation Authority and that started really advertising, and people from Toronto and like hundreds of miles away all coming out here to uh, to see them. Now, because of the trees, you can't see them at all. You see a special enforcement sign saying, parking up here, you get a $250 ticket. And uh, it's just actually become bedlam for the, the people that live up here. So I'm just going to go up here and just sort of drive around for a bit. And then uh, on the weekend, I'm going to come come back and do the second part, just to give you an idea what this is all about. Now, Webster's Falls was is for the longest time was actually owned by the uh, the town of Dundas. Uh, there actually used to be a hydroelectric plant there, and the town bought it to produce uh, electricity. Unfortunately, uh, the plant burned down. Of course, it was never rebuilt because it was it was going to cost more than than uh, the amount of money it would save by generating electricity for the town. So then it just became like a park, and it was actually it was actually very beautiful. Uh, believe it or not, my one nephew, like about 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, him and his uh, now wife got married in, uh, in Webster, at Webster's Falls. I don't know if it can still be done anymore, but back then it was, it was kind of cool. Now I'm going to put links in uh, in the video for Webster's Falls and Two's Falls. Those are the two two waterfalls, and and actually you go to the conservation thing. The first thing you actually see is is the uh, the thing about the uh, about no parking. I'm just going to stop here for a second. And you can see right here, it says no parking, permit parking, because people used to come in here and all the residents used to have uh, problems they couldn't get out of their own driveways because cars were parked all around. So that's why the gate's there. actually used to be able to drive right down there. there used to be a small parking lot it would hold about maybe 10 cars well it would be perpetually full and there's a, there's a few accesses around here that will sort of get you there but you know there's only really a couple main entrances that will get you into the falls this is actually Greensville here. This is the, the village or whatnot that the falls actually reside in. 
and it's actually pretty uh a, pr a very pretty fall it's got a, a little platform you can stand on and uh, look down and whatnot i'll uh i'll put some pictures uh so you can actually see what the place looks like this being the summertime there's probably people out here already because uh it's just sort of a what you call like a day trip thing now what they have people doing is because uh, you can't park anywhere around here they have you uh, park at the uh, the conservation area at uh, Christie Lake and you pay 10 bucks and they will shuttle you and up to five members of your family and uh, Yeah, you can see like people were parking on both sides of the, of the road, on people's lawns. It was crazy. Now, I'll be interesting to see if there'll be anybody doing it. There'll probably be a lot of traffic. So I'm just going to come up here. I've actually never been up this road because I just ne never could be bothered. Oh, this is tight. I've never actually been down this road, so I thought I'd just check it out. But I know there was people parking down here. Uh, I had a few friends who used to live up here, and they uh, constantly complaining about uh, the people coming here to look at the falls and whatnot. Well, that renovation going on there. Wow, well, that is a piece of property there. Very beautiful. Should be dead end up here pretty soon, I would think. Oh, it's actually very nice. sort of see the uh, that's the that's the parkland in there There's also a thing called the Bruce Trail here, which is a trail that people uh, people uh, can walk along the bottom of the escarpment and whatnot. It's actually a very long trail system, and it relies on the uh, some of the property owners that actually own the property allowing people to cross on the trail on their properties. And because of the problem here with people bringing their dogs in the property and leaving garbage, some of the uh, property owners have closed parts of the Boost Trail. And, uh, you know, some people who are really into the Boost Trail are saying, that's not fair, but it's like, you know, it's not your property. 
people are, out of the goodness of your heart hurt are letting you uh, access a trail and generally the idea is to not make a mess of it and you know after 20 years of dealing with a mess some people have said no more so anyways I thought I'd just uh, show you this little bit here oh that's actually the uh, the place uh, where they had the, the wedding uh, down there huh. I know from in my mind I know where we are now you can't really see it because the trees this is we have lots of trees in Ontario but it uh, sort of makes more sense of it but it is it is a very beautiful park it's very small like there's no camping or like that it closes at dusk at dusk but it's uh Interesting. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been a bunch of times. You know, it's changed a fair bit since my uh, wife, not, well, at the time my girlfriend, but my wife now, and I used to walk up there. But uh, a lot of people are coming to see it. And, you know, it's like uh, like Yellowstone Park in, uh, in uh, I think Montana, where it's like, some people come, come along there they actually have to have fences to keep people from walking on the on some of the delicate areas you know tourist attraction becomes too popular eventually gets overrun with tourists just guys venison to cruise ships so anyways that says the end of uh, part one and I will uh, back to part two in uh, a couple days for me but for you it'll be like that well I'm out here on the Sunday so you can sort of see that the uh, parking here is a little more jammed now I think what's happened is because they're enforcing the uh, fine for parking where they're not supposed to be there people are starting to obey the tickets I remember a couple years ago they had cars parked on both sides of the road here like uh, it's almost impossible for a single car to get through but you can see wherever there's uh, parking allowed there's a few more a lot more cars than what there used to be and there's somebody parking that's supposed to be it's a beautiful day so Close there to keep uh, people from uh, using that access. Stopping for an imaginary stop sign. That's the shuttle comes in to drop people off into there, which actually used to be a parking lot. But you can see the people are a lot's closed. Yep. No parking, residential only. Yeah, it's actually better than I thought it would be, but I'm assuming it's probably because the uh, the bylaw and police have been through here like crazy, uh, slapping uh, tickets like crazy on uh, people used to, who were parking here. And I'm assuming these are people here who are looking to come to the falls and their parking lot's blocked off. And those people are waiting for the bus. I thought I'd just, and here comes one of the buses now. Thought I'd just uh, show you this and give you an idea of what it's like on a Sunday. 
it's uh, nowhere near as bad as it was, but uh, I still notice a few people taking the chance. $250 ticket for parking in a no parking zone around here. That is an ouch. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Best Locker, signing off.